Ableton Live 11 is here. And with it come a ton of great new features and improvements. But in this video, I'd like to talk about the added support for MPE and note expression. Notice how I mentioned those two separately? We'll come back to that. If you're not familiar, MPE is a relatively new MIDI standard that allows you to play with added expression for each individual note. This means each note you play can have its own unique pitch bend, intensity, and much more depending on how you set up the software instrument. And the results are wonderful. First, let's check out how Ableton has added support for MPE controllers. I'm going to be working with the Roly Seaboard, but your results are going to be almost the same with anything like the Linstrument, the Roly Blocks, or Hacking Continuum as well. Before we get into the fun stuff, there is a new MPE toggle in the MIDI preferences. You'll want to enable this if you're playing with an MPE controller. Then, simply grab an instrument that supports MPE MIDI and load it up on an armed track to begin playing and even recording. Now, if you're new to MPE, you may be wondering, what's the big deal? You plug in a controller, you check a box in the settings, and you play some music. Isn't that how most controllers work? Well, you see, MPE works by sending data over multiple channels of MIDI, and that data needs to know where to go in the respective instruments. Previously, there were workarounds to get this to work in Ableton Live, but they were inconvenient at best, and the editing portion was nearly impossible. In addition, plugins that support MPE natively were and still are fairly limited. At the moment, Simpler, Sampler, and Wavetable now support MPE, along with most of the stock MIDI effects in Live 11. Sampler and Wavetable now have MPE routing sources that you can use to modulate almost anything in each device. The new controls available are labeled as Note Pitch Bend, Slide, and Pressure. Note Pitch Bend refers to the movement in the x-axis on a controller, while the slide refers to the movement of the y-axis on a controller. And of course, pressure refers to the z-axis or pressure on a controller. While Simpler supports MPE, it doesn't have a page for MIDI routings, so you'll have to convert your Simpler to a sampler if you'd like to make any of those adjustments. In addition to using stock instruments, you can also use any plugins that support MPE and use them with more ease than ever. There's also a new MPE control MIDI effect that's quite useful when you need to adjust the sensitivity for a specific sound. Similar to how Roly uses MPE curves in Equator. You can record MPE just like you would with a regular controller, but the added expression for each note is now recorded in a new way. Oh, and MIDI Capture also supports MPE too. Now setting up, playing, and recording MPE is only part of the challenge that's been solved. The second part is what's going to benefit everyone with or without an MPE controller. That's creating and editing per note expression. Not only is it now possible in Live 11 to do this, but it's easier than ever in the note expression tab of the MIDI clip view. In this view, you can edit your performance recorded with an MP controller or simply add expression to any MIDI notes that you recorded, sequenced, or even imported. You can select a note and add note pitch bend to create very precise note glides between notes, vibrato, and much more. 
While standard MIDI pitch bend affects the pitch of all notes being played, note pitch bend gives you independent control for each note, even if it's in a chord. If you have any MIDI routings set for pressure or slide, you can create envelopes in the editor below to add more expression to your sound. And this is different from typical automation as well. While automation affects all the notes being played, each of these envelopes can be adjusted and set to create unique expression per note. Overall, I love the new support for MPE and note expression. They're both easy to use, they're clean, and they're inspiring to work with, something that you know often gets in the way with so much technology. So what about the rest of the devices in live? Well, I would love to see MPE in all of the stock instruments eventually, but that will be up to the developers to implement if that's part of the long-term vision here. However, I am curious to see if any third-party developers take the lead on adding MPE support to their current flagships now that Live supports it. And that's it from me. If you liked this video, don't forget to leave a like, maybe subscribe, and check out my free packs for Ableton Live. I'm giving away some instruments and audio effects over at promu.io. I'll put the link in the description of this video so you can go check it out. But until next time, we'll see you in the loop.